We also had a, an individual who was an immigrant from Japan who said uh, that what happened to the, uh, to the Japanese American community should never ever happen to anyone else again. And in 1946, as people were coming back from the camps to their communities, he said one of the reasons that the Japanese Americans were evacuated and interned, even though the total number was 120,000, was that we really didn't have access to the political leaders of those times. And he said, we ought not to let that happen again. So in the San Jose area, this individual, and his name was I.K. Ishimatsu, Mr. Ishimatsu would go around collecting $1, $2 from people. Here they were just returning from uh, camp, had nothing really to speak of. And then he'd buy maybe two tickets to the Lincoln Day dinner of the Republicans, two tickets for the Jackson Day dinner of the Democrats, and send two uh, young Japanese Americans to those functions. Because he wanted their, their visibility to be known and to then make some connection to the uh, political leaders of, those, uh, of, of the two parties in our area. Well, by 19, about 60 or so, I became the beneficiary of one of those tickets as well. But uh, again, uh, I think your basic premise, Ron, that you talk about, to me it's always been amazing that something like this happens to 120,000 people. But there isn't any rancor or bitterness that came out of this. But there is a very, very strong conviction in the Japanese American community that something like this should never, ever happen to anyone again.